So here we are, 2023 lawn season, the heat is on. And I'm not talking about the heat from the temperature. Actually, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. This video today is brought to you by Wrinkled Sweatshirt. Wrinkled Sweatshirt, the only one you ever need. But also, I, I am sweating now because it's warming up pretty quick. That's not what I'm talking about here. It's time, it's that time of year where if you do something in your lawn and you film it and you show it to somebody, that you are going to get the heat. See that right there? That's a sprinkler. That sprinkler makes grown men very upset because it's different. Maybe because they don't see the need for it. I can't quite figure it out. That thing makes people angry and say terrible things. And it's just here to water the lawn. See this little guy? This is a lawnmower. This is a lawnmower that makes grown men cry. All it does is push around and cut the grass. But this causes a lot of controversy. Doesn't cut as well, doesn't stripe, doesn't do this, doesn't do that. Sure, absolutely. Also makes a lot of people very, very mad that something like this can, I don't know what, free up time or make their lives easier. See that? What about that? Those two things make your grass better. Like way better, better color, better growth. But you know what? Grown men get very, very upset with this when people use it. Even though it's right in front of them, they just can't admit it. This makes people upset. They don't like it. They don't wanna like it. They don't even wanna try it. Makes their lives easier. Makes the grass look better. Personally, I love the audience interaction. I love it when people comment. I like it when they're a part of the videos. I like, I like you know, sharing things. I like talking about how it is that I do stuff. In fact, I, I even actually really like when people say, hey, you know, uh, what about this? Why didn't you do that? That really is super helpful. What I don't like is the ignorant stuff. So I'd like to read a comment uh, from a short video I did where I just showed a non-selective herbicide killing a weed and how much time it took, okay? For your viewing pleasure, here we go. It doesn't work. The root system is still growing strong. I've pulled some out that be four feet long. That's just scamming people. First of all, I guess this guy's a pirate. He pulled out roots that be four feet long. Congrats, you've won comment boner of the day. Scamming people would say that you could pull a four foot root. That just shows you landscapers doing videos have never been out there pulling weeds. What a joker. To which I replied, bwah ha ha ha. Pulling weeds is a regular activity. I check my beds around my lawn nearly every day and pull a weed or two. Show me someone pulling a four foot root. That's my challenge for you today. I would love it if somebody out there who's watching this video could uh, just pull uh, a weed out with a four foot root. That's what I want. I'm asking everybody out there in YouTube land to go to your lawn, grab hold of a weed that you might guess has a four foot root and Pull it out of the ground. Just do that. It can't be that hard. It can't be, let's see. Oh, uh, hold on, there's, a, there's kind of a weed thing over here. Let's go look at this. That's kind of a grassy weed right down here. Let's just see. Oh, this has gotta have at least four feet on it. Where are you? Yeah, right here. Let's just see if we can pull this, a four foot weed out. Come here. Oh, shoot. No, that's not four feet at all. In the real world, no one is gonna come onto the lawn and tell me about how everything I'm doing is wrong. That's not, that's not how things work. In the YouTube world, that is how it works. You do something, you did it wrong. You show somebody how to do something that can save time and energy and effort, you're doing it wrong. Uh, you are unholy, do not pass go, do not collect $200, burn in hell for all eternity. So hey, you know, my lawn isn't perfect. Not this year, last year, it was in way better shape. I also had, actually I was in better shape too. I also had a wedding that I was gonna be putting on back here, and I was really focused on making sure this thing was just dark green and pretty, like that was, that was my goal. This year, I'm doing way less. This is what practically zero maintenance looks like. I'm doing little tests and experiments like I used to do on my old lawn, and I'm showing you guys that. And if it works well, great. If it doesn't work well, also great. We're just gonna do these little things and just kind of move along. So this year, we're doing a bit of a combo up here. We've got different sprinklers running different areas. We've got fertilizer injection happening different areas. We've done some spraying. We've done this, that, and the other thing. But there's a couple of things that I still have not done. Zero. And you just won't see it. 
No pre-emergent, no weeds. Are there weeds everywhere around me? Absolutely. Do weeds get in the beds? For sure. Are there any in the lawn? Never. Why? You answer that. No other disease control up here whatsoever. No insect control up here whatsoever. Could we potentially get insects in this lawn? Probably not. Elevation is my friend here, so probably that's not really gonna happen. Fungus, possible. Definitely with the moisture we had this year, there could be some things that happen. Now, we should run down to the green. I wanna explain that fungus real quick to you, okay? I believe, after having treated this with a fungicide, Pythium was at play because it followed the water. It started over here on top of the hill and it kind of tracked down the hill this way. Same thing happened over there. Started on a high side and it moved with the water flow. So, you know, throughout this small time when I saw it take place, it had an irrigation event, at least one, maybe two. I had to get fungicide on it immediately to stop it. Now, since that's happened, which has been uh, coming up on two weeks, I do have some life returning to these certain areas, but I am going to have to reseed this. So it's not perfect. And the green is a much different animal than the lawn. So these are the things that I do think it's very important to talk about. It can't all be perfect all the time, right? The lawn up above, it's not perfect right now. It looks good, but it's not perfect. This down here, some of this turf is absolutely insane. It is so much better than it was last year, but as a whole, big picture, not. The dead spots here, dead spots there, here a spot, there a spot, everywhere a spot spot. I have to do some work out here. Fortunately, I have the tools to do it. And again, with the temperatures the way that they are, the heat, I'm still gonna seed it, I'm still gonna try to bring it up, and I'm gonna try to get this thing all to grow back in. <sighs> Even though it is a short season, that's just the way it is. So, just kinda have to be prepared. But I wanna, sh I just, you guys gotta see what this looks like down here, up close, it's, it's insane. Now, I, I have to, I have to just point this out. The, this green has been getting the biggest benefit of the fertigation because the sprinklers down here have to run longer. They have to run longer because this is sand and the moisture really just, it likes to move through the sand and the roots will chase it. But it just doesn't hold as long as the upper lawn. So this requires more water, which means it's also getting more fertilizer. We're getting less up top. So the way that I've been kind of balancing that out is if I needed to catch something up, I can put it in my tank, I can crank it up and I can run one zone and just pump out what I need to in the one area and then it's, it's done. Here though, I just kind of keep it on that low flow and I am having to cut this two to three times a day right now. So this is probably going to have to get a plant growth regulator, but you got to look at this turf. Look at this. I mean, that is crazy, crazy. And you can still see, I'm not quite getting all of it. There's still more in here that I, I could run over again with my mower because it's still not all the way cleaned up. It's just growing so fast and so thick. This is taking a lot of extra time. I mean, again, I'm back onto mowing this thing at least twice a day. And what I've been doing is double cutting it in the morning and then single cutting it at night. Otherwise it's just, it's growing too thick. That's gonna be it for me today. But here's what I wanted to tell you. My job here on this channel isn't to sell you anything. It's to show you, not sell you, show you. I believe everybody out there is educated enough to see and look and judge with their own eyes and their own experiences when things have value and when they don't, okay? I'm not here to convince you, I just am showing you. That's it. For you guys at home, if you see the value, do it. If you don't see the value, don't do it. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.